all would have seen a lot of serums, lotions, creams containing retinol, promising us good skin, less pigmentation, less acne, etc. So, what are these and what are the eye implications they might have? Let's see that today. So, what is this retinol or retinoids or isotretinoin which is commonly prescribed for acne patients? So, what are these medicines? These are derivatives of vitamin A and they have a role to play in our cell turnover as in their death and formation of new cells etc. So, yes, they are touted as the wonder drugs. They do cause uh, reduction in pigmentation, fine lines, wrinkles, etc. Uh, Isocretinoin, on the other hand, which is a higher dose of retinols, they actually uh, are known to reduce the sebum production in our oil glands on the skin. So, thus, they reduce blackheads, whiteheads, and acne formation. While they do all these good jobs, do they have any implication on the eye? Just the way there are oil glands on the skin, there are oil glands in our eyelids as well. And these oil secretions are important in maintaining our tear film. So, a research suggests that about 10 to 50 percent of them uh, who are on isotretinoin, they can develop dry eye symptoms. So, what uh, is shown is that these oil glands also start reduced, uh, reduced production of oil and uh, the glands itself starts atrophying and disappearing. So while they have all the good things in them, it's very important that these medicines are taken under the guidance of dermatologists and uh, whenever after starting to use them, if you notice any dryness in the eye, it is better to consult your dermatologist or, and your eye specialist as well so that we can titrate the dose. Anything which is used under guidance and in titration will provide you all the benefits and no medicine is devoid of any side effect. Thank you.